To create these gradient backgrounds with translucent rounded containers, I'll layer annotations over a gradient image I created in Canva. And I'll include links to these images in the description. And first we need a canvas to work with, so I'm going to create a new dashboard. And I'll set the dimensions of this dashboard to 1300 by 800. For the base layer, under Objects, I'll drag in an image. And I'll choose a file that I created in Canva that has a gradient background. And I'll have all the images linked in the description. Then under the Layout tab, I'll change the position to be 00, zero and the size to match the size of the dashboard. The next layer I want to add is a rounded corner container with a translucent background. So on this empty worksheet, I'll create a calculative field called box and put two quotes in it. Then I'll drag this calculative field to the marks and make it a label. And you can see there's some text in here, so I'm going to go to the tooltip and remove everything that's in here. And now that there's no text when I hover, I'll right click, go to annotate, area, and hit OK. Then I'll set this from standard to the entire view. And you can see this created a container on the worksheet. I'll go back to our dashboard, go to the dashboard tab, and drag our sheet one in. I'll hide the title of the worksheet, and under the layout tab, I'm gonna change the position to zero, zero, and the size to match the size of our dashboard. But you can see it's covering up our gradient background, so I'm going to right click Format, and I'll set the worksheet shading to None. To get the translucent effect and the rounded corners for our container, I'm going to right click Format within our container. I'll change the shading to white and set it to 40%. This will give us that subtle see through effect. For the border, I'm going to set this to white, and for the corners, I'll set it to very rounded. And when I pull these in a little bit, you can see we now have that translucent rounded corner container. And while I could create this background within Canva, I prefer to use annotations to create the containers directly within Tableau. This gives me more flexibility so I can adjust and move things around as I work with the elements. So I'm going to create the layout directly within Tableau using the same method. I'll right click, go to Annotate, Area, and hit OK. And there are a lot of different ways that we can design these containers. So I'm going to right click Format in this container, and I'll change the shading to a light gray, and add a white border. And I'll make the corners very rounded. Then I'll go through the same process to create another container. And since we can control the opacity of the containers, we can layer all these on top of each other. So I'm going to format the shading on this container to be white and change it to 70%. I'll give it a white border and make the corners very rounded. To complete the layout, I can just repeat this process to create more boxes and then format and position them where I want the elements on my dashboard to be contained. And now we have a modern looking background and template for a dashboard that uses layered annotations with varying opacities to create these translucent looking containers.